kid growing up in uh, El Cerrito. My dad used to take us up to Winters all the time along the Tuta Creek. Now they got a lake there. It's called uh, Berryessa. <laughs> they put up a big dam. I used to call it the Green River.
Hey, these guys are great. I'll introduce them in a minute. Of course, we gotta take a nostalgic trip. That was nostalgic. Now that reminded me of... introduce these guys in case I get all carried away and flustered because uh, some people Clark, were very nice to let me be help. part of this. Thanks. Especially over here, Bobby Weir. <laughs> Randy Jackson. <laughs> Steve Jordan. <laughs> the man. <laughs> Wake him up, Jerry Garcia! <laughs> you know, genius at work, He's busy with all that stuff. I've got a little girl named uh, Lori that had two friends, the three of them were inseparable at about the age of 13. And I wrote this song for them. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> Guess what? Hey, when I was a little kid, I had a couple of dreams. I wanted to grow up and play baseball in the baddest way. And that's just what I did. I grew up and I was real bad. But uh, music got a hold of me about 11 years old, I guess. And uh, fortunately for me, I was able to get a hold of something and uh, have a lot of fun about 20 years ago. Yow! And then I went off to the spring training or uh, the minors or whatever they call that. I couldn't hit the curveball. Whoa! But they sent me down and uh, learned how to hit a curve real good. Especially in court! Well, anyway, so I wrote a song about what it might be like to get back. And I just want to tell you that uh, never give up hope. As long as there's life, there's hope. <laughs> Born again, the 
do one of my famous stand-ups, but I guess you... Sorry, I just had to adjust my Johnson bar. You know. I like to do one of those things I didn't write, but I always had a lot of fun singing it. Hey, you wake up in the morning. You hear the work bell ring. And I march you to the table. We see the same damn thing. Ain't no food upon the table. There's no fog up in the van. But you better not complain, boy. You get in trouble with the man. Let the midnight special shine a light on me. 
I just want to tell you what a ball it is to be doing these things after all this time, you know what I mean? It's great in my hometown in center field. Y'all join in.
Hey, well, now that we're all gathered here, let's talk a little. <laughs> I'd like to introduce a friend of mine named Clarence Clemens. He's a, now a local resident. I just want to say thanks again. In your own hometown, it's great that they understand what you're doing.
treat it is to work with professionals. I mean, we start and end at the same time and everything, you know what I mean? How you? I'm going to tell him me right down Uncle John. He says I have a million, but I had a lot of fun on me. An afternoon to remember. One more time, John Fogarty, please. Bob Weir, Randy Jackson, Steve Jordan, Jerry Garcia. Clarence Clemens. These very special events usually have some catalyst that gets these things rolling, and without that single person, these things don't usually reach fruition. There's a gentleman here somewhere out in the house, probably working, running around. His name is Tim McQuaid, and he is the man responsible for getting this thing off a couple of years ago and staying with it all the way. Remember that name years from now, Tim McQuaid. Thank you. <laughs> 